Joined now by the Israeli Prime Minister spokesman, Mark Regev. Uh, Mark Regev, you knew exactly what this building was, whether or not people near it were attacking your forces or defending themselves against your forces. You knew what you were doing when you hit it, didn't you? On the contrary, we were receiving fire from the facility. We asked forces on the ground return fire. And if you asked before, is there a crime here? If Hamas turns a UN facility into a, a battle zone, if Hamas takes over a UN, UN facility which is supposed to be a neutral facility and shoots from it, I think that's a crime under international Mr. law. Mr. Regev, if you had and been you told where the all the UN people, facilities were, you knew where all the UN facilities were because the UN had told you long before you decided to invade Gaza. Now, I put it to you, that's correct. even if it had been the case that there were people nearby who were engaged in any kind of military action, you knew what the consequences could be that a UN building, at the very least, you perhaps didn't know how many people were inside it, that a UN building would be hit. I think, I think you're overstating what is the reality. You have an Israeli ground force that receives mortar shells. Israel, the, the soldiers on the ground, as I think British or American or Canadian troops would do the same, they're under attack, they return fire to where, who's shooting at them. Uh, I think that's the most natural thing, unfortunately, in a war zone. Regardless uh, of how many civilians are, may be killed. Do their mission. Regardless of how many civilians well, may be killed, you're, you're regardless the of whether the UN buildings be hit too? The assumption behind your question, I think, is highly questionable. Did they know there were, in fact, civilians on the other side? And here I'd like to get well, to, to your question Well, they knew there was a UN building there. Crimes. They knew there was... I haven't asked you a question uh, about... You know, I'm not asking your you a question. Your question is... No, I'm no. not asking you a question about You're, war crimes, I mean, Mr. Regev. I'm asking you very clearly about the sort of conditions and rules under which your soldiers no. operate. You were told this was a UN facility. In, uh, have I've you given, heard of the concept of fog of war? There is a fog of war. There is a combat situation. People are uh, in the mud fighting in a combat zone and someone is shooting at them. Now, I think if command and control, if the Israeli Air Force has all the coordinates, if Brigade has the headquarters, a unit on the ground, someone is shooting at them, someone is threatening what? their lives, is it what? not the most natural thing in a combat situation to answer fire with fire? And what? Of my course. point that I'd like to make to you, if I could, is it not, is it not Hamas's crime here, and I'm using the word, I think, in a legal sense, if they take a UN position and turn it in, to a military position, if there are innocent refugees there and they use them as human shields in order con to conduct their military operations, is that not, on both counts, a crime against the rules of war? Uh, Mr. Regev, you have used the crucial word there twice. If you don't know, and I don't know, whether yes, that do. is... No, you don't. No, we do. Don't. Our, our no, initial somebody, reporting... No, hang on. Someone has uh, told you and somebody has told the UN and they state they don't know whether there was anyone like uh, acting as you say... If is the key word here. You would therefore presumably support, would you, an independent inquiry into precisely how this tragedy occurred? First of all, we're conducting our own inquiry and the information an we're receiving is inquiry. very uh, clear. An independent no, can inquiry. Can I also tell you something? Our intelligence services say that Hamas has conducted here a deliberate yeah. cover-up. We have the names of two particular Hamas military operatives who were killed in our counter-strike and they've suddenly vanished. They're not among, amongst the victims, though we know they're dead, and we know that Hamas knows they're dead. In other words, Hamas was doing something here that is against all the rules of law, all the rules of war, sorry, and they've deliberately done a cover-up. And if you ask me about an inquiry, how does one really do an objective inquiry in a situation where Hamas controls the ground? If you don't mind me saying, it's like a BBC reporter walking down the street in Pyongyang, North Korea, and asking people, do they like President Kim? Okay. How are you going to get independent information when Hamas runs the ground there? Mr. People Regev. won't say they were Hamas soldiers. Mr. Regev, thank you. Thank you.